There are a lot of creative stories told this time of year, and urban legends tend to be the darker side of stories. They usually start off as true, but the more they're told, the darker they become. A lot of times they warn us of strange events, such as a guy with a hook, or somebody with an axe popping up in the back of your car seat. I still don't understand why they all have to end so horribly. Yes, usually the stories do have a lesson to teach us, but most of the times they end up pretty horribly. And that's why I like Disney, because they always have a happy ending. You guys are so lame. Most of this stuff is made up anyway. Yeah, it's just to scare little girls. Well, this little girl hates hearing about it, so let's change the subject. No, I want to hear one. Come on, Miss Keller, tell us a scary one. I've got one for you, Danny. This legend's about a little girl that frightens everyone. Yeah, right. I already did the Bloody Mary test and the Picky Pig Pig test. It's all a hoax. Don't. No, this legend's a little bit different. <laughs> the legend of Zoe Nettles is not often told due to the fact that too many people are too scared to share it. Legend has it that she curses anyone who wrongs her in any way. Watch where you're going, freak show. What a weirdo carrying your little doll everywhere you go. Why don't you take a shower, loser? <laughs> Settle down, settle down. Now, for your writing assignment. You. It's just the phone is my world. Bye. Johnny, I think you took a wrong turn. The cafeteria is that way. Yeah, I forgot my phone in your classroom. Do you mind if I grab that? Go ahead. Just close the door on the way out. Alright, I'll make sure to do that. I'm talking to you. 